The House expected to gavel in momentarily for a potential 12th vote on House Speaker. Today's House session coming on the two-year anniversary of the January 6th riot at the United States Capitol. House Democrats marking that anniversary earlier today on the steps of the U.S. Capitol. And President Biden is expected to also mark that two-year anniversary today at the White House with an event taking place at 2 p.m. Eastern. We'll have live coverage of that event on C-SPAN, too, here on C-SPAN. Live coverage of the House floor. House will be in order. The prayer will be offered by Chaplain Kibben. Would you pray with me? Our hope is in the Lord, not in rulers or principalities, parties or persons. And we are keenly aware, especially on this day, as the psalmist has said, that their plans come to nothing. You, O oh Lord, thwart the plans of nations, you thwart the purposes of the people. On this day of profound remembrance, may we lean on the strength to be found only in you. Come alongside us and show your mercy on the American people as they and we approach today with a host of feelings, the abiding emotional and spiritual unease stemming from the memory of inconceivable unrest in these chambers two years ago, the exhausting frustration over the prolonged impasse in the deliberations that obscures the way ahead. The fear that resides in the hearts of families and staffers, communities and constituents who are affected by the lack of resources and security while this legislative body remains unseated. We wait in hope for you, O oh God, for you are our help and shield. And in you, we will find reason to rejoice, for despite all that makes today, today, we trust in you. May your unfailing love rest upon us, for it is in your sovereign name we pray. Amen. The chair has examined the journal of the last day's proceedings and announces to the House the approval thereof. Representatives elect are invited to join in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America.
For what purpose does the gentlewoman from New York seek recognition? Madam Clerk, a point of order. There's not a quorum. President. The gentlewoman makes a point of order that a quorum is not present. The chair will count for a quorum. Quorum call has been made by GOP conference chair Elise Stefanik. Members of the clerk staff counting the number of members present. Kevin McCarthy is on the House floor and meeting with members now. Uh, and we wait for that quorum call to be official. And as we wait, reports from various congressional media about what may or may not happen today. Chad Pergram of Fox News, uh, their Capitol Hill bureau chief, saying that there's a low chance that the House Speaker drama will end today, according to his sources. Other members of the congressional media, Sahil Kapoor of NBC News, quoting Republican Congressman Patrick McHenry, a close ally of Kevin McCarthy, saying, I feel better today than yesterday and the day before, so the trend is our friend, but saying that there's no deal yet. One more uh, from Nicholas Wu, of Politico saying that uh, House Dems, House Democrats have once again uh, said that they will vote against a motion to adjourn if it's offered. Uh, that's according to a notice from the WHIP's office. So Democrats uh, want to stay on the floor and continue uh, these speaker votes. At least that's what we expect they'll be doing if Republic Republicans once again uh, try to mo offer a motion to adjourn and come back later. Again, Live coverage of the House floor here on C-SPAN.
The House will be in order. The chair counts 275 members present. A quorum is present. The question recurs upon the election of a speaker. The tellers will please come forward and take their seats. For what purpose does the gentleman from California rise? Madam Clerk, I rise to nominate Kevin McCarthy for Speaker of the House. The gentleman is recognized. And while I rise to that end, I think it's critically important to note that this is actually not about Kevin McCarthy. Kevin is a good man. He's a man of God. He's a patriot. He's a leader who has led this conference to our current majority over the last four years. Those things are unassailable. But this isn't about him. This isn't about Kevin McCarthy. I put no single human being on a pedestal, and certainly not before God and not before the gift that he has blessed us with, with this grand experiment that we call the United States of America. This isn't about Kevin McCarthy. But the matters before us are of stupendous magnitude. A federal republic such as ours, it's, it's a dynamically unstable one. It's a wobbly top that's just a few mere revolutions away from falling down at any given moment except for the exertions of men and women who are willing to serve her with pure and selfless intent, just as our founding fathers did, just as Abraham Lincoln and Ronald Reagan did with pure and selfless intent. And as our nation today and over the last two years has seen, we are certainly a wobbly top. Today we have a southern border that is wide open. As a result of that and as a result of our executive branch policies, today, 200 fellow Americans will die of fentanyl poisoning, and roughly 5,000 illegal immigrants will be victims of human smuggling. Today, our nation's debt is $31 trillion, and that will go up, just in this day alone, by roughly $2.1 billion. Today, we are seeing one of the worst crime spikes in our nation's history. Our law enforcement are direly underfunded, and they are hurting. And on that topic, I want to thank our law enforcement. I want to especially thank the Capitol Hill Police for what they do. We thank them not only for what they've done.
Our police also serve with that pure and selfless intent. They do it every day, and we should thank them every day. Today, the Chinese Communist Party will orchestrate the theft of another $1 billion of intellectual property from American companies. And the Chinese Communist Party is still today not being held accountable for the deaths of millions of people around this planet, deaths as a result of a genocide within their borders, and deaths as a result of COVID outside them. We are today losing on multiple fronts against China. So today isn't about a single human being. It's not about Kevin McCarthy. It's about the 13 Gold Star families who still suffer today mercifully without closure and without accountability after the unnecessary loss of their loved ones in Afghanistan over a year ago. And today, speaking of our military, today roughly 40 active duty and veterans of our military will commit suicide. These, Madam Clerk, these are the matters of stupendous magnitude. This isn't about a, a man in a suit in the halls of Congress. It's about 330 million Americans. It's about the preservation of the Constitution and the liberties guaranteed therein. It's about the 246 years of pride and providence that we have enjoyed as a nation. And above all things, it's about ensuring that this beautiful journey exists for generations to come. That doesn't happen if we don't address and rise above the multiple existential crises that we experience today. We must be victorious in this cause, and victory begins with allowing this body to get to work. It begins today. Now, winning isn't easy, okay? Winning isn't easy, but winning is necessary. And of all folks in this chamber, I know that that winning isn't easy. I represent a district where only 29% of my voters are registered as a, in the same party as I. But I engage and I communicate with the other 71% because it's the only way that we all win. And in the end, it's the only way that the nation wins. It ain't easy, but it's necessary. But the noble wins, the most important wins, never are easy. But we take on these missions just as passionately as Colonel Chamberlain did at Little Round Top in Gettysburg. We must hold this line because if we don't hold this line, the entire union is at stake. We don't hold the majority for bragging rights. We, we hold the majority to govern responsibly. We hold the majority to protect the American people, to coalesce around the foundational constitutional principles that I've been willing to give my life to defend since the age of 18. Now, to my Democrat colleagues across the aisle, I, I want to make sure you understand and make no mistake, we are, in fact, on the verge of a very important victory, a victory for the pe people, a victory by the people, and most importantly, a victory for the future of our nation. And it dawns on me as I look across the aisle after being here for nearly three years that I haven't had the pleasure of meeting many of you because you've chosen to stay at home and not vote here in person, electing instead to proxy vote. The member-elect is reminded to direct his remarks to the chair. Well, it's a, it's a pleasure to see 212 of you here today. It's also a pleasure to see the end of the proxy voting. And let me, let me end with this. Let me end with this. I'm extremely proud of my colleagues on this side of the aisle. The last, the last four days, they haven't been ideal. They've been difficult. But I do see fighters. I see patriots who love this country and want to make things better. I, I see folks who are willing to do whatever is necessary to ensure that we better serve the nation. I see men and women who are willing to serve her with that pure and selfless intent, even if that service means undergoing the dentistry that we've experienced over the last four days and in the wake of the last 20 meetings over the last two months. Let me be clear, these are not concessions to the rules. These are critical evolution of the rules for the good of the nation. And I'm proud that we as a party have decided and been willing to extend the time aperture so that we can get to a solution, a product of compromise, but also 
a product that will fix the ills induced by the Democrat majority over the last four years. And this product will hopefully end the multifaceted legacy of reckless and toxic behavior in the swamp. And so this isn't about Kevin McCarthy. It's not about the 434 members in this chamber. It's about the 330 million Americans across this beautiful land. And it's about our nation's future. The person who will lead us on that journey will be Kevin McCarthy. He has earned this position. And I have the honor of nominating him at the direction of the Republican Conference as the Speaker of the House of the 118th Congress. God bless the United States. For what purpose does the gentleman from South Carolina rise? Madam Clerk, I rise to nominate my friend, colleague, and leader of the House Democratic Caucus, Hakeem Jeffries, for speaker of the United States. The gentleman is recognized. Madam Clerk, I want to begin by thanking you for your contribution to maintaining the dignity and honor of this august body. The eyes of the country. The eyes of the country are on us today. Let us consider what they will remember. I often refer to this hall as America's classroom. The proceedings we undertake in this body and our actions should serve as lessons for those who may be watching and are listening. Hopefully, that which they see and here will help them gain understanding and appreciation for the greatness of America and the goodness of the American people. This body has a unique role in this government. What we do and how we do it will determine whether our pursuit toward a more perfect union can continue in earnest. No day in recent history underscores the importance of that pursuit more than January 6, 2021. Exactly two years ago today, our resolve was tested when the violent mob of insurrectionists attacked our capital, threatened the integrity of this democracy and underlined our Constitution. The greatness of this country and the resiliency of our democracy were put at peril. But we survived. The preamble of the Constitution explains that the document was established in part to secure the blessings of liberty, not just for ourselves, but also to posterity. In this body, we are tasked with protecting our nation's hard-earned principles of liberty, justice, and freedom for all. Every two years, the American people evaluate our stewardship and render a verdict. Last November, they invested their time and resources going to the polls and casting their votes. They expect and should get a just return on their investments. For many, 
maybe most Americans, this is the only investment they will ever make to help preserve the greatness of this country. For the first time in over 200 years, after 11 rounds of voting, we are unable to organize and begin to work on behalf of those who elected us to serve. Democrats are offering a candidate for speaker, Hakeem Jeffries, who is not just prepared to lead, but committed to preserving this democracy and enhancing this august body. Madam Clerk, there is some dispute among historians as to whether Alexis de Tocqueville said this. But I consider it to be true regardless. De Tocqueville is credited in some quarters with having said, America is great because she is good. If America ceases to be good, America will cease to be great. The greatness of America lies in the goodness that exists within the American people. Today, the greatness of our nation hangs in the balance because the goodness of the American people is at stake. We Democrats are offering the people of America through this unique body, a good man who has the best interest of the American people at heart and is committed to preserving the fundamental principles that make this country great. Madam Clerk, I'm honored to carry out the directives of the House Democratic Caucus and submit to this August body the name of Hakeem Jeffries to be Speaker of the United States House of Representatives. For what purpose does the gentleman from Florida rise? To submit a name for a nomination for the position of Speaker of the House. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My colleague from California, Mr. Garcia, knows the incredibly high regard I hold him in. He is a patriot. I deeply, deeply admire him. But I must take some exception with some of the comments he made in his nomination of Mr. McCarthy. First, he said that Mr. McCarthy has earned the position. You only earn the position of Speaker of the House if you can get the votes. Mr. McCarthy doesn't have the votes today. He will not have the votes tomorrow. And he will not have the votes next week, next month, next year. And so one must wonder, Madam Clerk, is this an exercise in vanity for someone who has done the math, taken the counts, and is putting this institution through something that absolutely is avoidable. My colleague, Mr. Garcia, did not say this, but many of my other Republican colleagues have. They believe that Mr. McCarthy has earned the position of Speaker of the House because he raised half a billion dollars to get Republicans elected. Members are reminded not to engage in personalities against other members of the House. Several believe that one earns the position of Speaker by raising enormous sums of money, and there is no doubt that the individual that was nominated by Mr. Garcia is the LeBron James 
of special interest fundraising in this town. There is nobody better, but I would suggest that there are qualifications for speaker that are far more important. There are attributes that are far more important. Jim Jordan has those, and I am submitting his name for nomination at this time. I heard my colleague from California, Mr. Garcia, say that we seek pure selfless intent, and I could not agree more with that assessment. Mr. Jordan, indeed, is reflective of pure selfless intent. I don't know that the same can be said for the Republican alternative. Let's start with purity. Many of you have seen the reports that there are negotiations to determine whether or not on this side of the aisle there can be a deal, a meeting of the minds, a grand bargain that would allow us to proceed with the speakership. And I want all of my colleagues to know, regardless of your perspective on me, how impure some of those negotiations have gone. And I want the country to know. The principal goal of the people who are objecting to Mr. McCarthy on the Republican side is that we don't believe the rules of this place unlock the potential of all of the members to be able to cast votes on individual bills and to offer amendments on Appropriations Acts. And we're also concerned about spending that has ballooned our debt and borrowed against the future generations of American citizens. And Mr. McCarthy said, well, goodness to the objectors, a lot of you want to be on the Oversight and Judiciary Committee, and you never submit your names to be on the Rules Committee or the Appropriations Committee. And so, gosh, if you'll get a list of folks who are willing to come early on, mon on fly-in days for rules and folks who are willing to take on the extra burden of our appropriators who work so hard, then I'll certainly work to do that. And so we endeavored in good faith, in pure good faith, to create that list. And then what did Mr. McCarthy do? He went out to the media and came to other members of the conference and said, see, they just want jobs for themselves. That is not pure. Selflessness. Selflessness is not selling shares of yourself to the lobby corps and then doing their bidding at the expense of the American people. But there certainly is intent. And it's an intent driven almost exclusively by personal ambition. And that ambition is paralyzing the House now. Madam Clerk, at this time, there is great trust in Mr. Jordan. And that's why I am nominating him. And there is insufficient trust in Kevin McCarthy. There are some who have been objecting to Mr. McCarthy who are working on perhaps changes to the rules, changes to circumstance that would convert the speakership from the great, awesome, powerful position it is now to more of a ceremonial position, almost akin to the speaker in the British House of Commons. Uh, I referred to it previously as a straitjacket that some of us were trying to construct with better rules and better personnel because we do not trust Mr. McCarthy with power, because we know who he will use it for, and we are concerned it will not be for the American people. We trust Jim Jordan. I nominate him, and I'm going to vote for him. For what purpose does the gentlewoman from Colorado rise? Madam Clerk, I rise to enter a name for nomination for speaker. The gentlewoman is recognized. Once again, I just stand here today to nominate Kevin Hearn, the chairman of the Republican Study Committee, the largest caucus in the Republican conference, who unanimously was elected as chairman, whom I believe can unite this Republican conference and put forward the agenda that we all promise to work hard on and serve our American people to the best of our abilities with. I believe that Kevin Hearn will be a fighter for our national debt. I get texts on a regular basis at how inflation is hurting families, how grocery prices are skyrocketing continuously. He has crafted a budget that balances and will bring that to the floor to help the American people. Madam Clerk, I nominate Kevin Hearn as speaker. Thank you. The reading clerk will call the roll.
Adams. Jeffries. Adderholt. McCarthy. Aguilar. Jeffries. Alford. Alford. Allen. McCarthy. Allred. Jeffries. Amoday. McCarthy. Armstrong. McCarthy. Arrington. McCarthy. Auchincloss. Jeffries. Babin. McCarthy. Bacon. McCarthy. Baird. McCarthy. Balderson. McCarthy. Ballant. Jeffries. Banks. McCarthy. Barr. McCarthy. Beragon. Jeffries. Bean of Florida. McCarthy. Beatty. Jeffries. Bentz. McCarthy. Barra. Jeffries. Bergman. McCarthy. Byer. Jeffries. Vice. McCarthy. Biggs. Jordan. Arrakis, McCarthy, Bishop of Georgia, Jeffries. Jeffries, Bishop of North Carolina, McCarthy. Blumenauer, Jeffries, Blunt Rochester, Jeffries, Bobert, Hearn, Bonamici, Jeffries, Bost, McCarthy, Bowman, Jeffries, Boyle of Pennsylvania, Jeffries. Rakeen, McCarthy. Brown. Jeffries, Brownlee, Jeffries, Buchanan, McCarthy, Buck, Buck, Bouchon, McCarthy, Budzinski, Jeffries, Burchett, Burchett, Burgess, McCarthy, Burleson, McCarthy, Bush, Jeffries, Calvert, McCarthy, Kamek, 
McCarthy. Caraveo. Jeffries. Carbajal. Jeffries. Cardenas. Jeffries. Carey. McCarthy. Carl. McCarthy. Carson. Jeffries. Carter of Georgia. McCarthy. Carter of Louisiana. Jeffries. Carter of Texas. McCarthy. Cartwright. Jeffries. Jeffries. Kassar. Kassar. Case. Jeffries. Caston. Jeffries. Castor of Florida. Jeffries. Castro of Texas. Jeffries. Chavez de Reamer. McCarthy. Sherfellis McCormick. Jeffries. Chu. Jeffries. Cicilline. Jeffries. Siscomani. McCarthy. Clark of Massachusetts. Jeffries. Clark of New York. Jeffries. Cleaver. Jeffries. Klein. McCarthy. Cloud. Clyburn, Jeffries, Clyde, yeah. Cohen, Jeffries, Cole. McCarthy, Collins, McCarthy, Comer, McCarthy, Connolly, Jeffries, Correa, Jeffries, Costa, Jeffries, Courtney, Jeffries, Craig, Jeffries, Crane, Hearn, Crawford, McCarthy, Crenshaw, McCarthy, Crockett, Jeffries, Crow, Jeffries, Quayar. Jeffries, Curtis, McCarthy, Davids of Kansas, Jeffries, Davidson, McCarthy, Davis of Illinois, Jeffries, Davis of North Carolina, Jeffries, Dean of Pennsylvania, Jeffries, Deget, Jeffries, De La Cruz, McCarthy, Deloro, Jeffries, Del Bene, Jeffries, Deluzio, Jeffries, Desanye, Jeffries, Desjardins, McCarthy. Diaz Pazito, McCarthy, 
Diaz Ballart. Diaz Ballart. Dingle. Jeffries. Doggett. Jeffries. Donalds. McCarthy. McCarthy. <laughs> Duarte, McCarthy, Duncan, McCarthy, Dunn of Florida, McCarthy, Edwards, McCarthy, Elsie, McCarthy, Emmer, McCarthy, Escobar, Jeffries, Eshu, Jeffries, Espayat, Jeffries, Estes, McCarthy, Evans, Jeffries, Ezel, McCarthy, Fallon, McCarthy, Feenstra, McCarthy, Ferguson, McCarthy, Finstad, McCarthy, Fishbach, McCarthy, Fitzgerald, McCarthy, Fitzpatrick, McCarthy, Fleischman, McCarthy, Fletcher, Jeffries, Flood, McCarthy, Foster, Jeffries, Fushi, Jeffries, Fox, McCarthy, Lois Frankel, Jeffries, C. Scott Franklin, McCarthy, Frost, Jeffries, Fry, McCarthy, Fulcher, McCarthy, Gates, Jordan, Gallagher, McCarthy, Gallego, Jeffries, Garamendi, Jeffries, Barbarino, McCarthy, Mike Garcia, McCarthy, Robert Garcia, Jeffries, Garcia of Illinois, Jeffries, Garcia of Texas, Jeffries, Jimenez, McCarthy, Golden of Maine, Jeffries. Jeffries. Goldman of New York, Goldman of New York, Gomez, Jeffries. Jeffries, Tony Gonzalez, McCarthy. McCarthy. Vicente Gonzalez, Jeffries, Good of Virginia, Jordan, Gooden of Texas, McCarthy, Gosar, Gosar, Gottheimer, Jeffries, Granger, McCarthy, Grays of Louisiana, McCarthy, Graves of Missouri, McCarthy, 
Green of Tennessee. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Green of Texas. Jeffries. Green of Georgia. McCarthy. Griffith. McCarthy. Grijalva. Jeffries. Growthman. McCarthy. Guest. McCarthy. Guthrie. McCarthy. McCarthy. Hageman. McCarthy. Carter of California. Jeffries. Jeffries. Harris. Jordan. Jordan. Harshbarger. McCarthy. McCarthy. Hayes. Jeffries. Hearn. McCarthy. Higgins of Louisiana. McCarthy. Higgins of New York. Jeffries. Hill. McCarthy. Himes. Jeffries. Henson. McCarthy. Horsford. Jeffries. Houchin. McCarthy. Houlihan. Jeffries. Hoyer. Jeffries. Hoyle of Oregon. Jeffries. Hudson. McCarthy. Huffman. Jeffries. Jeffries. Heisinga. McCarthy. Hunt. Hunt. Isa. McCarthy. Ivy. Jeffries. Jackson of Illinois. Jeffries. Jackson of North Carolina. Jeffries. Jackson of Texas. Jackson of Texas. <coughs> McCarthy. Jackson Lee. Jeffries. Jacobs. Jeffries. James. McCarthy. Jayapal. Jeffries. 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 Johnson of Georgia. Jeffries. Johnson of Louisiana. McCarthy. Johnson of Ohio. McCarthy. McCarthy. Johnson of South Dakota. McCarthy. McCarthy. Jordan. McCarthy. McCarthy. Joyce of Ohio. McCarthy. McCarthy. Joyce of Pennsylvania. McCarthy. Kim Lager Dove. Jeffries, Captor, 
Jeffries. Kane of New Jersey. McCarthy. Keating. Jeffries. Kelly of Illinois. Jeffries. Kelly of Mississippi. McCarthy. Kelly of Pennsylvania. McCarthy. Kana. Jeffries. Kiggins of Virginia. McCarthy. Kildee. Jeffries. Kylie. McCarthy. Kilmer. Jeffries. Kim of California. McCarthy. Kim of New Jersey. Jeffries. Krishna Morthy. Jeffries. Custer. Jeffries. Kustoff. McCarthy. LaHood. McCarthy. Lalota. McCarthy. Lamalfa. McCarthy. Lamborn. McCarthy. Landsman. Jeffries. Langworthy. McCarthy. Larson of Washington. Jeffries. Larson of Connecticut. Jeffries. Latta. McCarthy. Laturner. McCarthy. Lawler. The Honorable Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Lee of California. Jeffries. Lee of Florida. McCarthy. Lee of Nevada. Jeffries. Lee of Pennsylvania. Jeffries. Ledger Fernandez. Ledger Fernandez. Lesko. McCarthy. Letlo. McCarthy. Levin. Jeffries. Lou. Jeffries. Lofgren. Jeffries. Loudermilk. McCarthy. Lucas. McCarthy. Lutkemeyer. McCarthy. Luna. Trail, McCarthy, Lynch, Jeffries, Mace, Mace, McCarthy, Magaziner, Jeffries, Maliotakis, McCarthy, Mann, McCarthy, Manning, Jeffries, Massey, McCarthy, Mast, McCarthy, Matsui, Jeffries, McBath, Jeffries, McCarthy, McCarthy.
McCall. McCarthy. McLean. McCarthy. McClintock. McCarthy. McCollum. Jeffries. McCormick. McCarthy. McGarvey. McGarvey. Jeffries. McGovern. Jeffries. McHenry. McCarthy. Meeks. Jeffries. Menendez. Jeffries. Meng. Jeffries. Muser. McCarthy. Mfume. Jeffries. Miller of Illinois. Miller of Ohio, McCarthy. Miller of West Virginia, McCarthy. Miller Meeks, McCarthy. Mills, McCarthy. Molinero, McCarthy. Molinar, McCarthy. Mooney, McCarthy. Moore of Alabama, McCarthy. Moore of Utah, McCarthy. Moore of Wisconsin, Jeffries. Moran, McCarthy. Morelli, Jeffries. Moskowitz, Jeffries. Moulton, Jeffries. Mervan, Jeffries. Mullen, Jeffries. Murphy, Murphy. McCarthy. Nadler, Jeffries. Napolitano, Jeffries. Neal, Jeffries. Nagus, Jeffries. Nails, McCarthy. Newhouse, McCarthy. Nickel, Jeffries. Norcross, Jeffries. Norman, None of Iowa, McCarthy. Obernolte, McCarthy. Ocasio-Cortez, Jeffries. Ogles, Ogles. Omar. Jeffries, Owens, McCarthy, Pallone, Jeffries, Palmer, McCarthy, Panetta, Jeffries, Pappas, Jeffries, Pasquale, Jeffries, Pain. Pain. 
Pelosi. Jeffries. Peltola. Jeffries. Pence. McCarthy. Perez. Jeffries. Perry. McCarthy. Peters, Jeffries, Pedersen, Jeffries, Fluger, McCarthy, Phillips, Jeffries, Pingree, Jeffries, Pocan, Jeffries, Porter, Jeffries, Posey, McCarthy. Presley, Presley, Quigley, Jeffries, Ramirez, Jeffries, Raskin, Jeffries, Reschenthaler, McCarthy, Rogers of Washington, McCarthy, Rogers of Alabama. McCarthy. 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 Rogers of Kentucky. Rogers of Kentucky. McCarthy. Rose McCarthy Rosendale Kevin. Hearn. Hearn. Jeffries, Rouser, McCarthy, Roy, Ruiz, Jeffries, Rupersberger, Jeffries, Rutherford, McCarthy, Ryan, Jeffries, Salazar, Salazar, Salinas, Jeffries, Sanchez, Sanchez, Santos, McCarthy, Sarbanes, Jeffries, Scalise, McCarthy, Scanlon, Jeffries, Schakowsky, Jeffries, Schiff, Jeffries, Schneider, Jeffries, Skolton, Jeffries, Schreier, Jeffries, Schweigert, McCarthy, Austin Scott, McCarthy, David Scott, Jeffries, Scott of Virginia, Jeffries, Self, 
Sessions, McCarthy, Sewell, Jeffries, Sherman, Jeffries, Cheryl, Jeffries, Simpson, McCarthy, Slotkin, Jeffries, Smith of Missouri, McCarthy, Smith of Nebraska, McCarthy. Smith of New Jersey, McCarthy. Smith of Washington, Jeffries. Smucker, McCarthy. Sorensen, Jeffries. Soto, Jeffries. Spanberger. Jeffries, Sparks, McCarthy. <laughs> Stansbury, Jeffries. Stanton, Jeffries. Stauber, McCarthy. Steele, McCarthy. Stefanik, McCarthy. Style, McCarthy. Stuby, McCarthy. Stevens, Jeffries. Stewart, McCarthy. Strickland, Jeffries, Strong, McCarthy, Swalwell, Jeffries, Sykes, Jeffries, Takano, Jeffries, Tenney, McCarthy, Tanadar, Jeffries, Thompson of, Thompson of California, Jeffries. Thompson of Mississippi. Yeah. Jeffries. Thompson of Pennsylvania. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Tiffany. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Timmons. McCarthy. McCarthy. Titus. Jeffries. Jeffries. Tlaib. Jeffries. Takuda, Jeffries. Tonko, Jeffries. Torres of California, Jeffries. Torres of New York, Jeffries. Trahan, Jeffries. Trone, Trone. Turner, McCarthy. McCarthy, Underwood, Jeffries, Valadeo, McCarthy, Van Drew, Mr. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy, Van Dyne, McCarthy, Van Orden, McCarthy, McCarthy. Vargas. Jeffries, Vasquez, Jeffries, VC, Jeffries, Velasquez, Jeffries, Wagner, McCarthy, Wahlberg, McCarthy, Waltz, McCarthy. Wasserman Schultz, Jeffries, Waters, 
Jeffries. Watson Coleman. Jeffries. Weber of Texas. McCarthy. Webster of Florida. McCarthy. Winstrup. McCarthy. Westerman. McCarthy. Wexton. Jeffries. Wild. Jeffries. Williams of Georgia. Jeffries. Williams of New York. McCarthy. Williams of Texas. McCarthy. Wilson of Florida. Jeffries. Wilson of South Carolina. McCarthy. Whitman. McCarthy. Womack. McCarthy. Yakum. McCarthy. Zinke. McCarthy. The reading clerk will now call the names of the members elect who did not answer the first call of the roll. McCarthy. Buck. Buck. Burchett. Kassar, Jeffries. <laughs> Diaz Bellart, McCarthy. <laughs> Goldman of New York, Jeffries. <laughs> Gosar. McCarthy. McCarthy. Hunt. Hunt. Ledger Fernandez, Jeffries. Ogles. On behalf of my colleagues, I've been, been negotiating in good faith as an act of good faith my colleagues. McCarthy. Jeffries. Presley. Jeffries. Salazar. McCarthy. Sanchez. Jeffries. Jeffries. 
Trone. Trone. If there are any members elect who did not answer the call of the roll, they may come to the well and vote at this time. After the 12th round of voting for House Speaker, the unofficial tally, Kevin McCarthy with 214 votes, Hakeem Jeffries with 211, seven Republicans choosing not to vote for Kevin McCarthy. A very distinct shift from the 11th vote where it ended last night. This is Sarah Ferris from uh, her tweet, Capitol Hill reporter, saying it's the first concrete sign of movement for McCarthy in days. This has been the McCarthy team's biggest goal, any kind of momentum to prevent further bleeding of Republican sources, saying that they still believe it's impossible to get all the votes today. Uh, they would still need uh, several more, quote, never Kevin votes. Remember, the magic number is 218. Uh, the a reminder, yesterday, this is where things stood. Kevin McCarthy with 200 votes. He picked up 14 votes in that 12th round of voting. Uh, here's who he picked up. Dan Bishop of North Carolina, Josh Breachin of Oklahoma, Michael Cloud of Texas, Andrew Clyde of Georgia, Byron Donalds of Florida, Anna Paulina Luna of Florida, Mary Miller of Illinois, Ralph Norman of South Carolina, Scout, Scott Perry of Pennsylvania, Chip Roy of Texas, Keith Self of Texas, Paul Gosar of Arizona, Andy Ogles of Tennessee, and Victoria Sparts of Indiana shifted her vote from present in the last round of voting to a vote actively for Kevin McCarthy. That's the 14 votes that Kevin McCarthy picked up since the 11th round. Seven Republicans still holding out against Kevin McCarthy, and Kevin McCarthy can only lose four and still become Speaker of the House. Andy Biggs of Arizona continuing to vote against Kevin McCarthy. Lauren Boebert of Colorado also voting for another candidate. Eli Crane of Arizona joining Lauren Boebert in voting for Kevin Hearn. Matt Gates of Florida voting for Jim Jordan. Bob Good of Virginia voting for Jim Jordan. Andy Harris of Maryland voting for Jim Jordan. Matt Rosendale of Montana, Montana voting for Kevin Hearn. A couple of the members who shifted their vote in that round of voting, tweeting out statements. Here's two of them. Scott Perry of Pennsylvania, who came over to the McCarthy side in that round, saying at 1.05 p.m. Eastern via Twitter, we're at a turning point. I've negotiated in good faith with one purpose, to restore the People's House back to its rightful owners. The framework for an agreement is in place, so in good faith, I voted to restore the People's House by voting for GOP leader McCarthy. And uh, this via Olivia Beavers of Politico uh, tweeting out Keith Self's statement. Keith Self 
of Texas. This is part of what the congressman-elect had to say. My vote today was to show support for significant rule changes to transform the House from being dysfunctional to functional. I believe we are on the precipice of transferring significant power from leadership to individual members and the American people. It has become clear to me, he said in his statement, that a couple of individuals are simply obstructionists, more interested in self-promotion than restoring the republic. I ran for Congress to be a voice and a vote for the people of the 3rd Congressional District of Texas. I appreciate all of the input that has been offered over the past few days, and I am taking it into consideration as I continue to ne negotiate in good faith on your behalf. Sahil Kapoor of NBC News taking us inside the talks via his Twitter feed. The Freedom Caucus wants three seats on the Rules Committee, which controls what bills go to the floor. The current negotiations involve Kevin McCarthy picking one, and they present a list, and he picks two more from that list. Uh, that's according to lawmakers talking to Sahil Kapoor. That's the latest. We're at the end of the 12th round. The unofficial tally, again, Kevin McCarthy picking up 14 votes. 214 now, Hakeem Jeffries at 211, seven Republicans still voting for another candidate besides Kevin McCarthy. Live coverage of the House floor here on C-SPAN.
And we continue to await the official tally from the House clerk. The unofficial numbers, Kevin McCarthy with 214 votes in the 12th round of voting, picking up a significant number of votes in that round, a 14-vote shift from how it ended last night. Uh, and the magic number today is 217. That's how many votes Kevin McCarthy would need to get to get the speakership. There are 432 members voting today. Half of that plus one gets to 217. Uh, and it has to be uh, the majority of those voting for an official candidate. And uh, every member who voted voted for a candidate. Nobody voting present that round. Again, 14 members shifting their votes from not McCarthy to McCarthy. Still seven holdouts. The math then is that Kevin McCarthy would need to pick off three of those holdouts to achieve the speakership. We're showing you live shots of the House floor as we await the official numbers from the clerk. Live coverage here on C-SPAN.
As we await the official vote count, some history via Greg Giro of Bloomberg uh, noting that this is likely to go to a 13th round of voting with Kevin McCarthy falling short of the 217 votes that he needed in that round. Only four speaker elections in history required more than 12 rounds of voting. Live coverage as we await the official tally from the clerk here on C-SPAN.
As we await the official tally from the clerk, uh, the unofficial numbers, Kevin McCarthy picking up 14 Republican votes in that 12th round of voting. Does not have the votes yet needed, the 217 votes needed to be speaker, but significant movement in that round of voting. Frank Thorpe of NBC News quoting Steve Scalise off the House floor, uh, members uh, going in and out of the chamber and reporters catching them as they go. Steve Scalise, who would be the majority leader if Kevin McCarthy is the speaker, quoting, uh, quoted as saying, obviously there was progress, a lot of progress has been made and talks are continuing with the question from reporters whether Kevin McCarthy will clinch the vote today. Scalise replying, there's some members that are out that are going to be coming back, so we're going to need to keep working. Uh, reports of uh, at least two Republicans out, uh, two Republicans who had supported Kevin McCarthy, Ken Buck of Colorado, Wesley Hunt of Texas. Uh, that's the latest in the scrums that are happening off the House floor. What you're seeing on the House floor is courtesy of uh, C-SPAN uh, camera folks who are in charge of the cameras right now. What you're seeing, all these conversations on the House floor uh, are courtesy of C-SPAN being in control of the chamber. Uh, with no speaker yet, uh, the C-SPAN operators are in charge of the cameras and have been able to bring you all these angles, uh, some members waving up to the gallery or perhaps to the cameras, uh, and uh, these gaggles happening, Matt Gates there, uh, chatting and uh, the Democratic side of the aisle as well. Throughout this process, C-SPAN in charge of the cameras, uh, not the case uh, usually when the House is in session uh, and the House Radio TV gallery is in charge of the cameras at the direction of the speaker. But as has been happening all week, uh, we've been able to bring you all these angles and bring you this live coverage here on C-SPAN. As we wait to see whether there will be a 13th round of voting for speaker, some news on what might happen if there is. Olivia Beavers of Politico 
reporting via Twitter that it would be James Comer of Kentucky who would nominate Kevin McCarthy as speaker in the next round. James Comer, who is set to be the chairman of the Oversight Committee, the lead investigative committee on Capitol Hill. Uh, and uh, again, we'll see if uh, there is a 13th round of voting, the 12th round inconclusive but significant movement towards Kevin McCarthy in that round. 14 votes moving in his favor. We're waiting, though, for the official tally from the clerk. You're watching live coverage on C-SPAN. The clerk expected to make the final tally official momentarily. Uh, of note, Jake Tapper of CNN reporting that Democratic Congressman David Trone of Maryland has returned to the House. He missed uh, that 12th ballot for speaker. Uh, and uh, Democrats saying this will bring the number needed to win uh, up by one for Kevin McCarthy. Uh, the number needed to win officially 217 at this point. We'll see if David Trone does, in fact, vote in the next round or if there is, in fact, a 13th round of voting. Uh, it all will happen after the House clerk makes the 12th round tally official, and we'll see uh, what Republicans decide to do. There could be a motion for adjournment. There could be a push for a 13th round. Live coverage on C-SPAN.
The tellers agree in their tallies that the total number of votes cast is 431, of which the Honorable Kevin McCarthy of the State of California has received 213. The Honorable Hakeem Jeffries of the State of New York has received 211. <laughs> the Honorable Jim Jordan of the State of Ohio has received four. The Honorable Kevin Hearn of the State of Oklahoma has received three. No member elect having received a majority of the votes cast, the speaker has not been elected. For what purpose does the gentleman from Kentucky rise? I rise on behalf of the Republican Party to nominate Kevin McCarthy for speaker of the 118th Congress. The gentleman is recognized. For the past two years, one party Democrat rule has resulted in multiple crises that are harming Americans without any oversight or accountability from this body. Americans are facing historic inflation, skyrocketing energy costs, the worst border crisis in American history, and surging fentanyl overdoses. One of the reasons is there's been no congressional oversight. There's no sense of urgency from this White House or the bureaucrats that populate this town to move. Now, I want to talk about that. Oversight of our tax dollars, that's our responsibility. We've all heard reports of hundreds of millions of dollars of potential waste and fraud in the unemployment insurance programs in all 50 states. We've all heard reports of misuse of hundreds of millions of dollars of the stimulus money, of PPP loan funds. But yet, there has not been a single hearing in the House Oversight Committee about this. The border crisis. We've made several trips on this side of the aisle to the border. We've listened to the Border Patrol agents. Their message is loud and clear. Under President Biden, the Border Patrol has become the welcoming committee. They're begging for help to do their job. Law enforcement officers in all 50 states are begging Congress to force this administration to secure the border to do something about the fentanyl crisis that plagues every community in every state in our great nation. <laughs> Americans watched in disarray at the debacle in Afghanistan, and Americans were left with many questions. How much equipment was left behind for the Taliban? How many Americans were left behind? The origination of COVID-19. We all know someone personally who lost their life during COVID-19. They deserve answers to what really happened in that lab in Wuhan, China. Those of us who had kids in the public school system can testify that our kids have lost a year of their education because of the forced virtual learning that so many of our schools uh, put our children through during the COVID pandemic. Congress ran the debt up 
at least $3 trillion in the name of COVID-19. Yet, as I mentioned earlier, there has not been a single hearing in the Oversight Committee to deal with potential waste, fraud, or abuse of the COVID funds. Not a single hearing. And we all know, despite what Dr. Fauci said, American tax dollars were sent through EcoHealth Alliance to the Wuhan lab in China for gain-of-function research. But yet Dr. Fauci hasn't come before Congress in the House of Representatives. The American people deserve answers on COVID-19, and Speaker Kevin McCarthy has given the Republican majority the tools necessary to make that possible. <laughs> the Democrats have spent the past six years investigating a president for potential wrongdoing in Ukraine and Russia. Now, let me say this loud and clear. The Republicans will also investigate a president for potential wrongdoing in Ukraine and Russia, as well as China. The American people have a lot of questions for Dr. Fauci, Christopher Wray, Merrick Garland, Secretary Mayorkas. We can't have those questions. We can't ask those questions until we get organized and elect our speaker. The role of the Oversight Committee under Speaker Pelosi was a full-time committee to harass the previous president, a committee to advocate for wage social issues, which the Oversight Committee had absolutely no jurisdiction, and a committee totally uninterested in the American taxpayer. In a Republican majority under Speaker Kevin McCarthy and many of my friends embedded in these negotiations, the House Oversight Committee, with strong members, strong members like Byron Donald and Andy Biggs and Jim Jordan, will return to its original mission of identifying waste, fraud, abuse, and mismanagement in the federal government and holding unelected bureaucrats accountable. Yay! In a Republican majority, under Speaker Kevin McCarthy, the forgotten working men and women's voices will finally be heard and represented. And in a Republican majority under Speaker Kevin McCarthy, this broken Congress will finally be fixed and we will return to regular order and we will drag those senators kicking and streaming along with us every step of the way. We will return to regular order. We will get the backs of the American taxpayers. This is the people's house. Let's get to work. Madam Clerk, I'm proud to nominate Kevin McCarthy to be the next Speaker of the United States House of Representatives, and I yield back. For what purpose does the gentlewoman from Texas rise? Madam Clerk, I rise to nominate a great leader, a unifier, not a divider, Hakeem Jeffries for Speaker of the United States House of Representatives. The gentlewoman is recognized. We are on day four, the 13th vote, and House Democrats continue to stand united with Hakeem Jeffries, with him and for him, because he is a uniter, not a divider, and a positive force of nature. Two days ago, during the fourth, fifth, maybe the sixth roll call, a nominator claimed this process should not be considered dysfunction. Madam Clerk, their process didn't begin this week. They've had months to figure this out. And Americans should have profound concerns about what this portends. As we gather here in this chamber on this solemn day, the second anniversary of January 6th, when members of law enforcement were under siege, when there was an attempted coup, 
an insurrection that will live in infamy. What we lived through was an assault on our republic and on our democracy from within. On that day, when my colleagues and I were trapped in this gallery, the terrorists who assaulted our police officers could be heard banging on these doors, breaking these windows, and they were here to prevent the certification of a free and fair election. I shudder to think what a Republican majority's inability to govern would have meant on that day and what it could mean in the future for those of us who believe in defending our democracy abroad and now more than ever here at home. On this painful anniversary, thankfully, the Honorable Hakeem Jeffries made sure that we came together to mark the moment, to honor our law enforcement, recognize the lives lost as a result of that day, honor the families and the survivors, and to ensure that we recommit to our republic and our democracy. That is the kind of speaker that our nation needs. We are now four days into what should be the 118th Congress, and the House of Representatives has no committees, no rules, no classified briefings, no members who have taken their oaths to serve our country. There are no debates happening on this floor about addressing the challenges we face at home or around the globe. No votes on legislation to tackle the challenges facing the American people. Madam Clerk, they told the American people they wanted to win the majority to fight inflation. The only thing they're fighting is each other. These four days have tested House Republicans' ability to govern, and they have failed. With Hakeem Jeffries as our speaker, Congress can continue to deliver common sense, bipartisan solutions for the American people. Instead, what we've seen unfold before our very eyes is exactly what's in store for the country over the next two years under Republican control. And this should be deeply concerning to the American people who expect us to do our jobs and fulfill even the most fundamental functions of this institution, like voting on the debt ceiling to fund expenditures we've already made. What if this happens then? What if we default on our debts because of the Republican majority's inability to govern? What impact will that have on our economy or on the global economy? And in less than nine months, in September, we have a vote to fund the government, to pay for our military, Social Security, Medicare, and other obligations. What happens on September 30th when government funding runs out and they're in charge? With Hakeem Jeffries as our speaker, we can continue to advance an agenda that puts people over politics, just as we did in the 117th Congress with a majority as slim as theirs. Es un gran honor nominar a mi amigo. Madam Clerk is co-chair of the House Democratic Policy and Communications Committee, and in accordance with the vote of the House Democratic Caucus, I'm honored to present for election to the Office of Speaker of the House of Representatives for the 118th Congress, the name of a man of integrity and intellect, who is bold and brilliant, and most importantly, a man who leads with love, the Honorable Hakeem Jeffries, representative from the state of New York. The reading clerk will call the roll.
Adams. Jeffries. Adderholt. Adderholt. Aguilar. Jeffries. Alford. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Allen. McCarthy. McCarthy. Allred. Jeffries. Amaday. Amaday. Armstrong. McCarthy. Arrington. Arrington. Auchincloss. Jeffries. Babin. McCarthy. Bacon. McCarthy. Baird. McCarthy. Balderson. Balderson. Ballant. Jeffries. Banks. McCarthy. Farr. McCarthy. Barrigan. Jeffries. Bean of Florida. McCarthy. Beatty. Jeffries. Bentz. McCarthy. Barra. Jeffries. Bergman. McCarthy. Byer. Jeffries. Bice. McCarthy. Biggs. Jordan. Villarapas. Villarapas. McCarthy. Bishop of Georgia. Jeffries. Bishop of North Carolina. McCarthy. Blumenauer. Jeffries. Blunt Rochester. Jeffries. Bobert. Jordan. Bonamici. Jeffries. Bost. McCarthy. Bowman. Jeffries. Boyle of Pennsylvania. Jeffries. Burkeen. McCarthy. Brown. Jeffries. Brownlee. Jeffries. Buchanan. McCarthy. Buck. Buck. Bouchon. McCarthy. Bazinski. Jeffries. Burchett. McCarthy. Burgess. McCarthy. Burleson. McCarthy. Bush. Jeffries. Calvert. McCarthy. Kamek. McCarthy. Caraveo. Jeffries. Carbajal. Jeffries. Cardenas. Jeffries. Carey. McCarthy. Carl. McCarthy. Carson. Jeffries. Carter of Georgia. McCarthy. Carter of Louisiana. Jeffries. Carter of Texas. 
McCarthy. Cartwright. Jeffries. Jeffries. Kassar. Jeffries. Case. Jeffries. Caston. Jeffries. Castor of Florida. Jeffries. Castro of Texas. Jeffries. Chavez de Reamer. McCarthy. Sherfalis McCormick. Jeffries. Chu. Jeffries. Cicilline. Jeffries. Siscomani. McCarthy. Clark of Massachusetts. Jeffries. Clark of New York. Jeffries. Cleaver. Jeffries. Klein. Klein. Cloud. McCarthy. Clyburn. Jeffries. Clyde. McCarthy. Cohen. Jeffries. Cole. McCarthy. Collins. McCarthy. Comer. McCarthy. Connolly. Jeffries. Correa. Correa. Costa. Jeffries. Courtney. Jeffries. Craig. Jeffries. Crane. Jordan. Crawford. McCarthy. Crenshaw. McCarthy. Crockett. Jeffries. Crow. Jeffries. Cuellar. Jeffries. Curtis. McCarthy. Davids of Kansas. Jeffries. Davidson. McCarthy. Davis of Illinois. Jeffries. Davis of North Carolina. Jeffries. Dean of Pennsylvania. Jeffries. DeGette. Jeffries. Dela Cruz. McCarthy. Deloro. Jeffries. Delbine. Jeffries. Deluzio. Jeffries. Desaigne. Jeffries. Desjardins. McCarthy. Diaz Pizzito. McCarthy. Diaz Bellart. Diaz Bellart. Dingle. Jeffries. Doggett. Jeffries. Donalds. Donalds. Duarte. McCarthy. Duncan. Duncan. Dunn of Florida. Dunn of Florida. McCarthy. Edwards. McCarthy. Elsie. McCarthy. 
Emmer. McCarthy. McCarthy. Escobar. Jeffries. Eshu. Jeffries. Espayat. Jeffries. Estes. McCarthy. Evans. Jeffries. Ezel. McCarthy. Fallon. McCarthy. Finstra. McCarthy. Ferguson. McCarthy. Finstad. McCarthy. Fishbach. McCarthy. Fitzgerald. McCarthy. Fitzpatrick. McCarthy. Fleischman. McCarthy. Fletcher. Jeffries. Flood. McCarthy. Foster. Jeffries. Cushy. Jeffries. Fox. McCarthy. Lois Frankel. Jeffries. C. Scott Franklin. McCarthy. Frost. Jeffries. Fry. McCarthy. Fulcher. McCarthy. Gates. Jordan. Gallagher. McCarthy. Gallego. Jeffries. Garamendi. Jeffries. Garbarino. McCarthy. Mike Garcia. McCarthy. Robert Garcia. Jeffries. Garcia of Illinois. Jeffries. Garcia of Texas. Jeffries. Jimenez. McCarthy. Golden of Maine. Jeffries. Goldman of New York. Jeffries. Gomez. Jeffries. Tony Gonzalez. McCarthy. Vicente Gonzalez. Jeffries. Good of Virginia. Jordan. Gooden of Texas. McCarthy. Gosar. McCarthy. Gottheimer. Jeffries. Granger. McCarthy. Graves of Louisiana. McCarthy. Graves of Missouri. McCarthy. Green of Tennessee. McCarthy. Green of Texas. Jeffries. Green of Georgia. McCarthy. Griffith. McCarthy. Grijalva. Jeffries. Grothman. McCarthy. Guest. McCarthy. Guthrie. McCarthy. Hageman. McCarthy. Carter of California. Jeffries. Jeffries. Harris. McCarthy. McCarthy. 
Harshbarger. McCarthy. Hayes. Jeffries. Hearn. McCarthy. Higgins of Louisiana. McCarthy. Higgins of New York. Jeffries. Hill. McCarthy. Hines. Jeffries. Henson. McCarthy. Horsford. Jeffries. Houchin. McCarthy. Houlihan. Jeffries. Hoyer. Jeffries. Hoyle of Oregon. Jeffries. Hudson. McCarthy. Huffman. Jeffries. Hyzinga. McCarthy. Hunt. Hunt. Isa. Isa. McCarthy. Ivy. Jeffries. Jackson of Illinois. Jeffries. Jackson of North Carolina. Jeffries. Jackson of Texas. McCarthy. Jackson Lee. Jeffries. Jacobs. Jacobs. Jeffries. James. McCarthy. Jayapal. Jeffries. 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 Johnson of Georgia, Jeffries. Johnson of Louisiana, McCarthy. Johnson of Ohio, McCarthy. Johnson of South Dakota, McCarthy. Jordan, McCarthy. Joyce of Ohio, McCarthy. Joyce of Pennsylvania. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Kim Logger Dove. Jeffries. Captor. Captor. Kane of New Jersey. McCarthy. Keating. Jeffries. Kelly of Illinois. Jeffries. Kelly of Mississippi. McCarthy. Kelly of Pennsylvania. McCarthy. Connor. Jeffries. Kiggins of Virginia. McCarthy. Kildee. Jeffries. Kylie McCarthy. McCarthy, Kilmer Jeffries, Kim of California McCarthy, Kim of New Jersey Jeffries, Krishnamurthy Jeffries, Custer Jeffries, Kustoff. McCarthy, LaHood, McCarthy, LaLota, McCarthy, 
Lamalfa. McCarthy. Lamborn. McCarthy. Landsman. Jeffries. Langworthy. McCarthy. Larson of Washington. Jeffries. Larson of Connecticut. Jeffries. Latta. McCarthy. Laturner. McCarthy. Lawler. McCarthy. Lee of California. Jeffries. Lee of Florida. McCarthy. Lee of Nevada. Jeffries. Lee of Pennsylvania. Jeffries. Ledger Fernandez. Jeffries. Lesko. McCarthy. Letlow. McCarthy. Levin. Jeffries. Lou. Jeffries. Lofgren. Jeffries. Loudermilk. McCarthy. Lucas. McCarthy. Luke Kameyer. McCarthy. Luna. Luna. McCarthy. Latrell. McCarthy. Lynch. Jeffries. Mace. Mace. Magaziner. Jeffries. Baliotakis. McCarthy. Mann. McCarthy. Manning. Jeffries. Massey. McCarthy. Mast. Mast. McCarthy. Matsui. Jeffries. McBath. Jeffries. McCarthy. McCarthy. McCall. McCarthy. McLean. McCarthy. McClintock. McCarthy. McCollum. McCollum. Jeffries. McCormick. McCarthy. McGarvey. Jeffries. McGovern. Jeffries. McHenry. McCarthy. Meeks. Jeffries. Menendez. Jeffries. Ming. Jeffries. Muser. McCarthy. Enfume. Jeffries. Miller of Illinois. McCarthy. Miller of Ohio. McCarthy. Miller of West Virginia. McCarthy. Miller Meeks. McCarthy. Mills. Mills. Molinaro. McCarthy. Molinar. McCarthy. Mooney. McCarthy. Moore of Alabama. McCarthy. Moore of Utah. Moore of Utah. Moore of Wisconsin. 
Jeffries. Moran. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Morelli. Mr. Jeffries. Jeffries. Moskowitz. Jeffries. Moulton. Jeffries. Mervan. Jeffries. Mullen. Jeffries. Murphy. McCarthy. Nadler. Jeffries. Napolitano. Jeffries. Neal. Jeffries. Nagoose. Jeffries. Nels. McCarthy. Newhouse. McCarthy. Nickel. Jeffries. Norcross. Jeffries. Norman. McCarthy. None of Iowa. McCarthy. Obernolte. McCarthy. Ocasio Cortez. Jeffries. Ogles. McCarthy. Omar. Jeffries. Owens. McCarthy. Pallone. Jeffries. Palmer. McCarthy. Panetta. Jeffries. Pappas. Jeffries. Pasquel. Pasquel. Jeffries. Payne. Jeffries. Pelosi. Jeffries. Paltola. Jeffries. Pence. McCarthy. Perez. Jeffries. Perry. Perry. Peters. Jeffries. Pedersen. Jeffries. Pfluger. McCarthy. Phillips. Jeffries. Pingree. Jeffries. Pocan. Jeffries. Porter. Jeffries. Posey. McCarthy. Presley. Jeffries. Quigley. Jeffries. Ramirez. Jeffries. Raskin. Jeffries. Reschenthaler. McCarthy. Rogers of Washington. McCarthy. Rogers of Alabama. McCarthy. Rogers of Kentucky. McCarthy. Rose. McCarthy. Rosendale. Jordan. Ross. Jeffries. Rouser. McCarthy. Roy. McCarthy. Ruiz. Jeffries. Rupersberger. Jeffries. Rutherford. McCarthy. Ryan. Jeffries. Salazar. McCarthy. Salinas. Jeffries. 
Sanchez. Jeffries. Santos. McCarthy. Sarbanes. Jeffries. Scalise. McCarthy. Scanlon. Jeffries. Schakowsky. Jeffries. Schiff. Jeffries. Snyder. Jeffries. Skolton. Jeffries. Schreier. Jeffries. Swikert. McCarthy. Austin Scott. McCarthy. David Scott. Jeffries. Scott of Virginia. Jeffries. Self. McCarthy. Sessions. McCarthy. Sewell. Jeffries. Sherman. Jeffries. Cheryl. Jeffries. Simpson. McCarthy. Slotkin. Slotkin. Smith of Missouri. McCarthy. Smith of Nebraska. McCarthy. Smith of New Jersey. McCarthy. Smith of Washington. Jeffries. Smucker. McCarthy. Sorensen. Jeffries. Soto. Jeffries. Spamberger. Jeffries. Sparts. McCarthy. Stansberry. Jeffries. Stanton. Jeffries. Stalber. McCarthy. Steele. McCarthy. Stefanik. McCarthy. Style. McCarthy. Stuby. McCarthy. Stevens. Jeffries. Stewart. McCarthy. Strickland. Jeffries. Strong. McCarthy. Swalwell. Jeffries. Sykes. Jeffries. Takano. Jeffries. Tenney. McCarthy. Tanadar. Jeffries. Thompson of California. Jeffries. Thompson of Mississippi. Jeffries. Thompson of Pennsylvania. McCarthy. Tiffany. McCarthy. Timmons. Timmons. Titus. Jeffries. Tlaib. Jeffries. Takuda. Jeffries. Tonko. Jeffries. Torres of California. Jeffries. Torres of New York. Jeffries. Trahan. Jeffries. Trone.
Jeffries. McCarthy, Underwood, Jeffries, Valadeo, McCarthy, Van Drew, McCarthy, Van Dyne, McCarthy, Van Orden, McCarthy, Vargas, Jeffries, Vasquez, Jeffries, VC, Jeffries, Velasquez, Jeffries, Wagner, McCarthy, Wahlberg, Wahlberg, McCarthy, Waltz, McCarthy, Wasserman Schultz, Jeffries, Waters, Jeffries, Watson Coleman, Jeffries, Weber of Texas, McCarthy, Webster of Florida, McCarthy, Winstrup, McCarthy, Westerman, Westerman, Wexton, Jeffries, Wild, Jeffries, Williams of Georgia, Jeffries, Williams of New York, McCarthy, Williams of Texas, McCarthy, Wilson of Florida, Jeffries, Wilson of South Carolina, McCarthy, Whitman, McCarthy, Womack, McCarthy, Yakum, McCarthy, Zinke, McCarthy. The reading clerk will now call the names of the members elect who did not answer the first call of the roll. Adderholt, McCarthy, Emmaday, McCarthy, Arrington, McCarthy, Balterson, McCarthy, Buck, Buck, Klein, McCarthy. Correa, Jeffries. Jeffries, Diaz Ballard, McCarthy, Donalds, McCarthy, Duncan, McCarthy.
Hunt. Hunt. Capture. Jeffries. Mace. McCarthy. Mills. McCarthy. Moore of Utah. McCarthy. Perry. McCarthy. Slotkin. Jeffries. Timmons. McCarthy. Westerman. McCarthy. They are members elect who did not answer the call of the roll. They may come to the well and vote at this time. A live shot of Kevin McCarthy there after the 13th speaker's vote. He has still not secured the gavel. That latest vote, 214 votes for Kevin McCarthy, 212 votes for speaker for Hakeem Jeffries, six Republicans voting for Jim Jordan. The magic number today with 432 members on the floor as of that latest vote uh, is 217. 217 votes needed to secure the speaker's gavel. The six Republicans who voted against, uh, voted for another candidate besides Kevin McCarthy in that 13th round, Andy Biggs of Arizona, Lauren Boebert of Colorado, Eli Crane of Arizona, Matt Gates of Florida, Bob Good of Virginia, Matt Rosendale of Montana. Notably, Andy Harris of Maryland switched his vote, and there is Andy Harris there on the top right of your screen. He switched his vote last round in this latest round to Kevin McCarthy, showing more momentum towards Kevin McCarthy. Uh, two tweets on the latest right now when it comes to inside the McCarthy team. Manu Raju of CNN saying that they're trying to clinch the speakership today. They're seeing whether any of the absent members can return and whether they can flip some of the holdouts. Jake Sherman of Punchbowl News saying Republican leadership 
expects and hopes to get Ken Buck and Wesley Hunt, uh, two Republicans who are not on the floor right now, to return to Washington tonight to help elect Kevin McCarthy to be Speaker. That would put 434 total members on the floor if they return. It would make the magic number for the Speakership 218. We're finished with the 13th round. We're waiting for the official tally. Live coverage here on C-SPAN. Again, in that 13th round of voting for the speaker, one Republican crossing from a non-McCarthy vote to the McCarthy column, that was Andy Harris. That follows uh, the 12th round of voting in which Kevin McCarthy picked up 14 votes. And members uh, who changed their vote in that 12th round, uh, putting out statements just within the past half hour or so, on why they made those changes. Among them, Byron Donalds, the Republican of Florida. Uh, he was one of the names that was nominated uh, by Republicans and for a while uh, was one of those major vote getters outside of Kevin McCarthy. Byron Donalds tweeting this just after 2.30 this afternoon, 2.30 Eastern. The Speaker's office must work 
for we the people, and I believe that the concessions that we've secured achieve this. Republicans are ready to govern and deliver results on behalf of our constituents and the nation. Another one of those members who changed their vote again in the 12th round was Mary Miller, Mary Miller of Illinois. She tweeted this afternoon, we are negotiating a historic conservative victory to finally stop spending and debt, reckless spending and debt from crushing our children and our grandchildren. We will ensure Republican House cannot do what Senate Republicans did when they passed the disastrous $1.7 trillion omnibus. We must stop Biden. And uh, one more this morning from, uh, uh, from another member of Congress who was tweeting uh, about their statement that they put out. Josh Breachin of Oklahoma also putting out a statement, a long statement, explaining his vote. Again, it was 14 members who changed their vote in the 12th round. One more member in the 13th round. It looks like we'll need at least 14 rounds of votes. We'll see what happens. And again, we're waiting for the official tally from that 13th round from the clerk of the House. Live coverage here on C-SPAN. We continue to wait the official tally from the House clerk on the 13th round of voting and a possible 14th round of voting coming today. One of those members who changed their vote back in the 12th round was Dan Bishop of North Carolina, the Republican putting out a statement just a few minutes ago on why he changed his vote to now support Kevin McCarthy for speaker. I came to Washington to change the status quo, said the congressman, and the brave stand of 20 members elect has procured an agreement that makes substantial progress on that score. 
Our agreement completes a months-long effort to cause the Republican conference to reform rules and procedures, commit to specific policy strategies, and improve the distribu distribution of conservative voices across committees. This achievement will help make the People's House truly work for the American people again, and we will hold Mr. McCarthy accountable to his promises. Dan Bishop, in a statement he just released, this vote taking place today on January the 6th, two years since the riot at the United States Capitol, over on C2 right now, live at the White House, President Biden marking the two-year anniversary since the riot at the United States Capitol. Uh, live coverage of that on C-SPAN 2. Here on C-SPAN, we're getting ready for a potential 14th vote for speaker. This would be the fifth most votes having to be taken for speaker in House history. The longest vote, uh, 133 votes needed back in 1855 during the 34th Congress. It was 63 votes needed back in 1849 during the 31st Congress. 44 votes needed in 1859 during the 36th Congress. 22 votes needed in 1819 during the 16th Congress. And here in 2023, during the 118th Congress, we'll need at least 14 votes for speaker, and we'll see how many more. Live coverage here on C-SPAN.
We continue to await the official tally from the House clerk from the 13th round of voting. In that round, it was Congressman Andy Harris, the Republican from Maryland, who changed his vote uh, from uh, not Kevin McCarthy to the McCarthy column. His tweet uh, just about five minutes ago on uh, his latest vote in the 13th round. Washington and Congress are broken, said the congressman. If the agreement that we were able to finalize over the last few days is implemented, it will be a, the greatest change in how the House operates and becomes much more responsive to the American people in at least two generations. That's a tweet from Andy Harris, uh, congressional reporter uh, M Michael Schnell saying after the current vote is announced, it, Tom Emmer's office says the House will bring up a motion to adjourn today until 10 p.m. So that might be the path forward, uh, an effort to perhaps see if Kevin McCarthy can get back uh, two Republican members who are missing uh, and uh, back in their districts, uh, two members who have voted for him, Congressman Wesley Hunt of Texas and Ken Buck of Colorado with the hope to get them back and add their votes to the McCarthy column. Of note, today was the first day that Kevin McCarthy achieved more votes than Democrat Hakeem Jeffries, the minority leader in uh, the 12th round. It was uh, 213 votes for Kevin McCarthy to 211 for Jeffries in this uh, latest round, the 13th round, it was 214 votes for McCarthy and 212 for Jeffries. Again, those are the unofficial tallies. We're waiting for the official tally from the clerk. Uh, and these live shots that we're showing you on the House floor brought to you by C-SPAN controlled cameras in the chamber. A bit unusual today. We can get a bit more of a flavor of what's going on on the floor, something we don't normally get to do. And C-SPAN certainly taking advantage of it. Uh, three camera operators in the United States House uh, showing you in the House of Representatives showing you all of these angles. We also have access to that overhead shot that you've seen on occasion looking down on the House floor, uh, but uh, with no speaker elected and controlling uh, the cameras in the chamber, C-SPAN is uh, bringing you uh, all these conversations, all these sidebars, uh, and have been doing it all week long. Live coverage of the vote for the Speaker of the House here on C-SPAN.
The tellers agree in their tallies that the total number of votes cast is 432, of which the Honorable Kevin McCarthy of the state of California has 214. The Honorable Hakeem Jeffries of the State of New York has received 212. The Honorable Jim Jordan of the State of Ohio has received six. No member elect Having received the majority of the votes cast, a speaker has not been elected. For what purpose does the gentleman from Louisiana rise? Madam Clerk, with great appreciation for the job that you and your staff have been doing. Madam Clerk, I move that the House stand adjourned until 10 p.m. tonight. The question now occurs on the motion of the gentleman from Louisiana. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. Aye. And the opinion. In the opinion of the chair, the noes have it. Well, Madam Clerk, I request the yeas and nays. The yeas and nays are requested. Those favoring a vote by the yeas and noes will rise. A sufficient number has arisen. The yeas and nays are ordered. Members will record their votes by electronic device. A 15-minute vote has been called. The question is a motion to adjourn to adjourn the House of Representatives until 10 p.m. Eastern tonight. Perhaps a 14th vote taking place at that point. We're hearing from congressional reporters that Kevin McCarthy and his allies looking to use the time between now and 10 p.m. tonight to convince some of the holdouts and perhaps uh, get some of the absent members, the two absent Republican members who previously voted for Kevin McCarthy, back to Washington, back to the House floor in the hopes of closing out the Speaker's vote and achieving the votes necessary. Robert Costa of CBS News reporting this via Twitter. One of McC McCarthy's top allies has told CBS that meetings are being planned for the rest of the afternoon and the evening in private with those remaining holdouts. The hope is to adjourn sooner than later to get those going. We have to close this out, and it's not going to happen on the floor. That's the quote from one of McCarthy's top allies, according to Robert Costa. Again, 
right now the math has uh, 217 votes needed for a speaker if the two republicans who are not on the floor ken buck of colorado uh, and wesley hunt of texas if they return to washington uh, as uh, some reporting says they will by tonight uh, and they become part of the quorum then 218 votes would be needed for Kevin McCarthy to achieve the speakership. There are 12 minutes left in this vote, this motion to adjourn. And again, it's a motion to adjourn until 10 p.m. Eastern tonight. Live coverage of that vote and images from the House floor, courtesy of three C-SPAN controlled cameras in the chamber here, live on C-SPAN.
Less than five minutes left in this vote on a motion to adjourn. It would be to adjourn the House until 10 p.m. Eastern tonight. In past adjournment votes, there have been uh, some Republican members who have joined with Democrats voting no on adjournment. That doesn't look to be the case this time. Uh, currently, 217 votes for an adjournment, 211 against adjournment, six members still not voting. The Kevin McCarthy team looking to secure the final votes needed to secure the speakership in the hours between now and 10 p.m., an expected 14, 14th vote on speaker at 10 p.m. Eastern. Caitlin Collins of CNN reporting this via Twitter just a few minutes ago. Kevin McCarthy uh, telling CNN that he is confident that he will have the votes to become speaker by tonight. Asked why, he said, because I counted. Just a few minutes left in this vote on a motion to adjourn. Again, uh, we were showing you live coverage through C-SPAN control cameras on the House floor. Three C-SPAN camera operators showing you all the angles, all the conversations, and have been showing you that all week long. We should be hearing uh, on a final vote total on this motion to adjourn in just a few minutes. Stick with us on C-SPAN.
Does any member elect wish to change a vote? No. On this vote, the yeas are 220, the nays are 212. The motion is adopted. Accordingly, the House stands adjourned until 10 p.m. tonight. p.m. Eastern tonight is when the House will reconvene. We're expecting a 14th vote for speaker at that point. So far today, over the past uh, three hours and 40 minutes, we've seen two votes for speaker and Kevin McCarthy gaining substantial ground over the course of those two votes. Joining us on the phone to talk about it now, Jennifer Shutt of State's Newsroom, a Washington senior reporter there. Jennifer Shutt has been covering it all. Good afternoon to you. Thanks for joining us, Jennifer Shutt. Thanks so much for having me. 15 votes flipped, the majority coming in that 12th round of voting, one additional coming in that 13th round of voting. How did Kevin McCarthy do it? Kevin McCarthy has slipped these votes to him through a number of ways in really ongoing negotiations that are still being sort of worked out on the margins of these House floor votes that we've all been watching. One of the things that we've heard that's in this package, but of course we haven't seen any public official changes to House Republicans' rules package or any sort of agreement that Kevin McCarthy has signed or anything like that. But what we're hearing is that the House appropriate